Hello, Voxman here. For those of you who are watching my last tutorial video, uh, you'll know that I was making some macaroni and cheese. Now, I just ate that macaroni and cheese, and I'm feeling inspired to show you two bass drums that I found very effective throughout my beatboxing experience. <clears throat> uh, the first is like this. Now, both these bass drums are quite similar to the so-called dry kick drum that Tite talks about at humanbeatbox.com. So you can go watch that video, it's a good video, um, but these are slightly different. But they're similar in, in that they don't sound very fat or big, not like the traditional bass drum, which probably just distorted my microphone. But these do sound really good hugged close to a microphone. So. Um, so the first one, how we do this one is, um, we'll start with the sound of, uh, you know, the tisk sound, the classic, like when you're, um, disappointed in something somebody's doing or you think there's something they're doing is stupid. You go, really? So it's kind of a, kind of a, a drawing in of a tiny bit of air with your tongue. You know how to do it. What you do for this bass drum is you do the tisk sound, but you do it harder with more pressure. And that's actually drawing a tiny bit of air into your mouth. Not much, because you're not breathing in. But what you want to do is that little amount of air, you want that to suck your lower lip closed so that you've got a tight seal. Come a bit closer. Actually, you can hear a little squeak. Uh, that's something in my nasal passage with, with the air pressure. That's kind of funny. So, tisk, here's without the, the, the lip. And then with allowing my lip to come closed. And I'm not sure why it beefs it up, but it causes it to somehow, the sound to reverberate through your skull a bunch more. Cool. <clears throat> the next bass drum sound, very similar. You probably won't be able to hear a difference over my crappy webcam uh, audio, but it goes like this. It's a little bit higher pitched, has some upper frequencies as compared to the, the, the lip shut one, the lip vacuum bass drum. Um, but what we're doing, doing slightly different stuff with our tongue, rather than causing, doing a tisk, which causes a, a infinitesimal amount of air to get sucked in we're actually going it's like it's like the letter T but without exhaling or like the letter D in the dry kick there's the dry kick but you do it you don't have to open your jaw as much and you do it with the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth just in front of your teeth so it's kind of like doing kind of like doing a uh, non-exhaling hi-hat, but with a little bit more pressure. It's the best way I can describe it, but what's cool is if you get both of these bass drums down, they can work in alternation. They complement each other very well. So you can do some double kick stuff. So what I'm doing there is inwards one, the lip closed, and then outward one opens the lip. You can also keep your lip shut and do the outward bass drum, um, keeping your lip shut, and that kind of gives it a low pass filter sort of effect.
<laughs> Hope I've done an alright explaining this very valuable beatboxing technique. It's the first types of kicks that I was doing when I was eight years old, um, doing YMCA impressions in front of my whole school, which is how I got my start beatboxing. Well, thank you for listening. This is a long tutorial. The macaroni was disgusting, if any of you were wondering. You should buy slightly high quality macaroni, not the cheapest ones that they have. Good night.